Gilas Pilipidas just beat Latvia who is number 6 in the world. They didn't just beat Latvia but they also beat them in their home soil. And what does this mean for Gilas Pilipidas moving forward? Ever since Tim Cohn has took over as a head coach for Gilas Pilipidas, there has nothing been happening but just winning. Is Tim Cohn the right person for the job? Or is the players in the Philippines are just much better nowadays? What do you guys think? Let me know and comment down below and let's make this a conversation because I want to know what you guys think. So share your opinions and we'll see you at the comment section. But on this video, we will break down on how Gilas Pilipinas beat Latvia in their home turf. If you haven't done so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button as I will be making videos for you guys every week. And now, Let's get to it. Defensively, Chris Newsom did a great job for Gilas Pilipinas as he was basically picking up his defender as soon as he crossed half court. Because of this, it disrupted Latvia's flow offensively, which forced them to turn the ball over on this position. Chris Newsom was very active defensively throughout the whole game, and Justin Bradley took care of business offensively as he had 26 points, 9 assists, and 9 rebounds. When Gilas could not find a bucket, Justin Brownlee was there to buy them out and basically create for himself or for his teammates. And Kai Soto's presence was also felt as he had 18 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 block. This was one of Kai Soto's block as he was there ready on the help side to help which resulted for a block from Kai Soto. Gilas Pilipinas also did a great job on moving the ball as some players were moving really well off the ball like Justin Brownlee on this play as he just curled to the basket for an easy two. Winning this game was purely a team effort and plays like this got a lot of Latvian fans worried. Not only that Chris Newsom was just being a defensive player, he also brought the ball up and was the point guard for the Gilas Pilipinas. And again, this play shows how well Gilas Pilipinas was moving the ball as Dwight Ramos cut through for an easy two. The rotation on defense for Gilas was really good on this game. On this possession on the pick and roll situation, Junmar prevented the drive and left his man open but Junmar was still able to rotate properly and contest the shot. And this next play is probably one of the craziest play in the game as Brownlee was going baseline and was able to find Ramos on a skip pass which Ramos took one dribble to his left for a very tough three and at the same time the shot clock was winding down so they really milked the heck out of this position. This position is very similar to the previous play where the clock was winding down and they were able to find CJ Perez at the 45 for a huge three point play. And this three pushed the lead to 21 late in the third quarter going basically going into the fourth. Gila's shot making really had a lot of Latvians in the building shook. They could not believe what they were seeing. Here's another great defensive rotation for Gila's Filipinas. Coming off a pick and roll, Pilipinas was able to pack the paint right on time as Latvia was penetrating, which resulted for a kickout three, but Gilas Pilipinas' rotation defensively was on point and was able to recover. This is another great example on how Gilas Pilipinas won this game as a great team effort. But there was also times when Pilipinas could not get any bucket, but Justin Brownlee was there to save us, especially on this important play where in the fourth quarter, the lead went down to 10 from beating up 21, and Brownlee showed up offensively to basically finish the game for us. I could not stress enough how well Gilas Pilipinas defense was as they had Latvia out there playing hot potato because they could not get a proper open shot. Even after playing hot potato they still missed that three. All in all it's just great to see Pilipinas play this way because we haven't really seen this type of you know this brand of play before from the national team and it's very exciting to watch because it's a modern day basketball you know it's none of that's you know none of that barangay basketball type of stuff where every big supposed to be at the post where nowadays you see kai soto at seven foot three hitting threes in this game and putting the ball on the floor and making the right play for himself and for his teammates this Gilas team is a great mixture of the old school with Japet Aguilar, Jude Bar, and new school of Kai Soto, it's, you know, Kimbao and stuff. Jude Bar is somewhere in the middle, he's not really that old, but it's just great to see this brand of basketball where everybody's involved and not, you know, it's not dominated by one person, just like, like what we had in the World Cup. And that brings me back to the question that I asked earlier in this video, like, is it because of Tim Code or is it because of 
the new players that we have, the mixture of players that we have today is, are the players better or is it Tim Cone? Let me know and comment down below and share that opinion because I want to know what's going on. And if you haven't done so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and we will see you on the next video.